this is, this is coming from a father that loves his son. I don't know how else to tell you this, but um, this is what saved my son's life. My son had a seizure every single day for the last four and a half years of his life. The first time I ever gave him medical cannabis was the first time he ever went seizure free in his life. Can you imagine your kids having seizures every single day, being in pain 12 to 14 hours a day, crying, screaming? My sons tried 12 different medications from around the world, two that weren't FDA approved, and they didn't work. They just caused more problems. My son's taken 25,000 pills and he's five years old. That's ridiculous. Um, seeing my son suffer like this, not get to enjoy life. I've been to birthday parties, seeing my son not have fun while other kids are having fun, I'm running to, to the ambulance or calling 911, seeing my son suffer. Well, things have changed since I started using medical cannabis. I got him down from 22 pills a day down to four right now. He's functioning better. I have documentation. I have video evidence of him changing as a human being. His eye contact is getting better. I get emails from his teachers telling me how good he's doing and what they're seeing, the difference, comprehending. Uh, I wish I, my son could say I love you. That's my true goal. But right now I'm happy with him when he looks in my eyes and I tell him, give me a kiss. He could give me a kiss now. Can you imagine your kid not giving you a kiss? <laughs> I've been blessed. God's shown me the way. This is a plant. It even says in the Bible, and I am a Christian. Amen. Genesis 129 and 130, use my plant, use my seed. And it's been working fantastic for my son. It's changed his life. From being in an ambulance 45 times, he hasn't been in an ambulance since I started CBD. Last April and May, I was, I was losing it myself. I didn't know how I could see my son suffer like that every day. Thank God, God gave me cannabis to help my son. Please, Miss Hag, have some compassion. Don't let me lose my son. Please, Obama, Mitt Romney, whoever you guys are out there, we need your help. I love my son. Been to 50 different dispensaries all over California looking for help for my son. The only person that knew what they're talking about, that knows the different things of the test and percentages, and it's all about the science and to save my son's life. We've done a lot of trial and error until we figured out what's helping him out. There's other children that are on it. I get emails from across the world. I've got emails from Australia, Israel, Japan, every country you could think of asking for hope, for help, because they're suffering. Seeing your kids suffer every single day is the worst thing in your life. There's nothing worse than that. I wish I could take away the pain. At least I'm taking away some of it. My son's happy now. He gets to swim. He used to look at a swimming pool and have a seizure. Now he can swim for two hours. What a difference in life. Not just that, the whole family feels better. We do have hope. Before no one had hope, and now other parents are getting on it and they're doing, all the kids are doing better. With Harper's side, not just are they compassionate, they know what they're talking about. This is a real medical marijuana facility. Like, like the other lady was saying earlier about the ones in LA, I've been to the ones in LA. They have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> and I'm being serious, because I walked in there and I, I'm very educated about this because I'm trying to save my son's life. And they have no idea what they're talking about. When I go here, we work together to learn and understand what can we do to help things better. And being compassionate, I mean, Thank God for them. If it wasn't for them, I, I'd be in insane asylum. I, wouldn't, I don't know if I would even have my son right now. So thank God for Harperside, Steve, and Andrew. And uh, please, once, one more time, Obama, if you're hearing this, Mitt Romney, I don't know who it is out there. Please help us. Don't let us suffer. Don't let the kids suffer. Thank you very much. This is, a, this is a, one of the reasons, one of the many thousands of reasons that we will never abandon our patients. We initiated a project, a project CBD, to increase the amount of CBD medicine that was available by providing our most trusted growers with the genetic material, uh, with CBD-rich genetic material, and then uh, making it into medicines that would be appropriate. Um, in the case of, of, of Jaden, of course, we did not want to give, we don't want to give him a smoked form of cannabis, so we, we took the CBD-rich uh, material, 
Uh, that was infused in glycerin, um, uh, so we made a glycerin tincture as opposed to an alcohol tincture, which is typically used. And, uh, and as Jason indicated, the uh, important thing is that you have a high ratio of CBD relative to the amount of THC uh, that is in the medicine, uh, especially for, uh, for children uh, for all of the obvious reasons. So, you know, this has not been an easy project. Uh, it has not been an inexpensive project. Uh, it is a project that we've been able to undertake by virtue of our size and is an excellent example of, of the type of irreplaceable service that Harborside provides, which will be completely lost uh, if we are taken, uh, if we're closed down. On behalf of your son, if you could say anything to the U.S. Attorney uh, to have them stop this action, what would you say? If I could say anything to anyone out there, please, if it was your child, would you let him suffer? My son needs this, and there's more children that are finding out that it's working for them. Please don't let our kids suffer. I don't want to see my kid in an ambulance again. I don't want to see my kids suffer anymore. And not just that, I don't want to lose my son.